Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something that is very interesting for the future of Halo Infinite, or I guess Halo in general. It comes from a survey that has, I guess, leaked because you're technically not supposed to show people this stuff, and I'm not going to actually show the image, even though you can definitely find it on Twitter and stuff pretty easily. But it's a very weird survey question. But before we get into that, if you enjoy Halo content and you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe. We are grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like as it greatly helps in the algorithm. Anyways, in this survey, 343 asked players if they would be interested in having the ability to play classic Halo multiplayer experiences in Halo Infinite, aka CE Halo 2, Halo 3, and it retained the settings, the sandbox items, maps, modes, and the overall feel from that title, but built in Halo Infinite. Goes on to say that this would mean offering the best of a classic Halo multiplayer experience that would also benefit from more modern quality of life improvements, updated visuals, and be part of Halo Infinite's progression and customization systems. And then it asks how you would like feel about it. Very weird because MCC is at such an amazing place right now in terms of content and quality, and it's also, you know, paid for. For 343 to be asking this, it's kind of weird to me. Now, like, Forge and stuff is great. I may be in the minority here. This might be a hot take, but I think, like, Halo 3 still looks amazing. It's beautiful on the MCC. But I just feel like Halo Infinite doesn't have the same, I don't know, even though it's, like, a different technology and Infinite was built, you know, much later than these older games, I'm not sure that they would be able to really replicate that feel of those games in the Halo Infinite ecosystem. I assume this means that we would just have like different playlists for like Halo 3, throwback playlist, Halo 2, Halo CE, and then they would have to bring the maps over that would fit the experiences that, that were in that game, so like no sprint and whatnot, so like in Halo Infinite, when you make these remakes of old maps, you have to take into consideration like the new movement tech and stuff like that, but what this really kind of makes me think is that this is still part of that 10-year plan like we're not gonna see halo infinite at least the multiplayer side of things just disappear in the next few months or years it really does feel like this is a long haul i do kind of wish that you were able to maybe blend in the halo mcc stuff into halo infinite so you wouldn't have to have like two separate you know um applications to start or download so, like, if I only wanted to play Halo 3 from the MCC, I could still access that somehow from Halo Infinite instead of closing Halo Infinite, opening up MCC and stuff. But I don't know. This is a very weird poll. What are they thinking over there? I'm curious to know your guys' opinions on if they could replicate these classic titles in the Halo Infinite engine or if they're moving to the Unreal Engine. Like, there's just so many questions that go into this. I really just can't see it working out right. It's almost like it's a portal mode for Halo Infinite, but again, I just wish they kind of weren't dropping support for the MCC. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that rumor, but it's, you know, it's content complete apparently, which really stinks. Because I do think that quality of, I, I just feel like there could be more added to MCC. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!